Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about this particular night vision system. So this is the PVS-15C. So there's three models, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. The way to distinguish between them is the dovetail right here. So you have the triple screws for the C, you have the single screw for the A and B. So a lot of people don't like the A and B model because over time with the single screw system, the dovetail can get crooked and throw off alignment between your eyes and the tubes. So everyone uh, tends to search for the C model, which has these triple screws. So weight-wise, they are a little heavier uh, than what's currently out in the market. So without the battery, it's one pound and seven ounces. And it does give you articulation, but it doesn't articulate up very far. This is the furthest it goes. So if you have this stowed upwards on a G24 on your helmet, it may stick out a little bit. And um, you have to be careful not to run into walls or anything like that. And for the filters um, that you may want to put on this unit, so you can um, use the same filters that you have for your PVS-14 on the rear eyepieces right here. For the front, you don't have a lot of options. So you could get a set of sacrificial lenses for about 20 bucks a piece. And there are some iris systems out there, but they're very expensive, like $50 to like $250 on a mod armory, which is a little too much in my opinion. And um, so you don't have a lot of options for the front lenses. And for the operations, um, there are some nuances as well as to the settings. So you have your off, on, another on, and the IR illumination setting. So the first on with the underline right here, let me zoom in is meant to be used when uh, it's mounted to a G24. So once you have this mounted to a G24 and you set it onto the first on and you stow the night vision upwards, uh, it will shut off the unit. And if you don't have it mounted to a G24 and you set it to the first setting, first on setting, you'll just see pitch black. You won't see anything. And um, so you just gotta be a little careful because sometimes uh, you'll need to op test this and um, if you have it on the second on setting which will turn on turn the unit on you may forget that uh, there's an additional on setting you click it back on thinking it is um, off when the unit is still actually on so you just gotta be a little bit careful and um, yeah that's that's the one nuance with this unit the two on settings so to recap the first on setting with the underline you use it when it's actually mounted to a G24. So once you set it to that uh, on setting, it will turn on. When it's not mounted to like a G24, it will not turn on on the first on setting. You have to go one more click uh, to the second on setting. And you have your IR illumination setting, which you just pull the knob and twist to turn on the illuminator. Uh, a lot of people don't use the setting, but it's there. And you can swing this lens over to focus the illumination beam. Um, so if you want to illuminate a specific object close to you, you can do that and you have that option as well. But again, not a lot of people use that setting, so it's really up to you whether that's important or not. And um, pricing wise, you can get one from uh, $4,000 to $4,800 depending on what model it is. So people want the C model, so if you want a C model with tubes that are clear and with very few flem flems, blems, then um, you can get them for between $4,500 to $4,800. If you want a PVS 15A or B, then it'll be between four to like $4,500 as well. So um, it's a big spread on the pricing, but there's a reason for that. And um, that's really it. So. This is an older unit, but um, uh, it still has a place in today's market. Uh, depends what's important to you. So um, the one thing is if you do get one of these, it may be hard to service them if it breaks because there aren't that many spare parts out there or the people that know how to fix these things. So just keep that in mind, but it is still a very durable and usable unit in um, uh, today's market. So. If you like this video, give me a like. Thanks.